anything. We don't know why we've been banned. We don't know why the kids can't play. Um, they've met their guidelines. They met the, the age limit, the weight limit, every, all the requirements. We paid $100, and our team is the only team that's been banned from this league. And we don't know why. And all we want to know is why. It's what all these parents and kids are asking, why? Why is their team no longer allowed to play with all the other teams? The youth football team, the Raiders, showed up for their scheduled game today, only to be escorted off the field by police. And once again, why? These coaches and parents say they've tried to get an answer but are being ignored. We tried to get a hold of them. We tried to contact them and explain and try and get this resolved. They won't call us back. They will not talk to us. All they have been told is that the league they're playing with, the Warcat League, has a strict no-tolerance policy that was in some way violated, leading to this suspension. But what was the violation? The Raiders say they've gotten no reason, so we tried getting an answer. We asked Vice President of the group that suspended the Raiders what's going on. Can you be able to we, talk to us and let here. us know what is We will talk to you as soon as the games are over. Okay. As you heard, we didn't get an answer either. I contacted the president of that group, and she declined comment as well. Because we deserve an answer, and our boys are asking questions, and they deserve an answer. In the meantime, these kids are missing out on some of their last opportunities to get to play together. Here, you know, it's just youth football. This are, these boys have played together for over seven years. This is their last hurrah. After this, it's over. They are all going to divide up throughout Corpus Christi, and everybody will play for different schools. They, they, will, they, will, they, will not, they will never have the chance to have this much group of talent on one team again. You know, so we want to finish it out strong for them. That's our main goal. And bottom line, all these kids want to do is play. How do you feel about it? Man, I just want to play football. Why? That's What's so special about football? What makes you want to play? Um, I just like hitting and I just like playing. It's just fun. Just being with their own team and just having fun playing football. And they're not allowing you to do that, huh? No. no. Right. Jennifer Lita, Action 10 News. One, two, three, ready! And it hasn't rained in quite a while, but this March... The signs say it all, from the dry cracked earth to the receding water levels. South Texas faces a serious drought. What does this mean for local farmers? So that means yields go down. And uh, when you don't make enough pounds uh, to justify your production cost, you go in the hole. Although this drought may not compare with the one back in 1950, area farmers are still concerned as planting season quickly nears. A rain within the next two or three weeks, for sure. Uh, you know, enough to get the crop started and then we can pray for more. The drought's grip can also be seen in area lakes. Under different conditions, my head would probably be covered in water, but because of this prolonged drought, the worst since 1956, that isn't the case, which is why I'm sitting on a dry, empty beach. Even the tall grass and weeds have turned from a colorful green to a dull and brown landscape. Yeah, we were over, especially over Mustang Island, around Goose Island, everything just seems really dry. With water conservation measures in place, county officials advise the public to respect the rules and wildlife. Francisco Cepeda, Action 10 News.